Hi, I'm Kathy Klasny. I'm the food editor at the Daytona Beach News Journal, and I'm here at the Casements in Ormond Beach today with Elaine Patinis, who teaches Greek cooking here frequently. And she is an expert on phyllo, among other things. And uh, this dough is something that's used for baklava and other classic Greek dishes. And Elaine, if you could just show us how, how it's done. Well, phyllo dough is a very thin, paper-thin pastry dough. And when you buy it in the store, it comes in these two half-pound packages. And that's enough to make one whole sheet, a whole tray of baklava, or 40 spinach and cheese triangles. And when you open them, and you unravel it, you have this beautiful phyllo dough that's ready to use with some melted butter. You can make hundreds of wonderful creations. And it comes frozen, right? It comes solid in the frozen food section of your store. And you bring it home. You keep it in the freezer until you're ready to use it. You let it thaw overnight in the refrigerator. And the day that you want to use it, just leave it out on the counter for two hours. And it becomes easy to work with. In fact, I'm going to ask you, uh, what are we going to be doing today to show how to use this? We have, hold on a second. For making spinach and cheese triangles, we have cottage cheese, mm -hmm. mozzarella cheese, feta cheese, of course. It's nicely crumbled. Oh, you've got to get your hands into it. Huh? I love it. <laughs> no need to buy crumbled feta. It just uh -huh. takes two seconds. I have pre-cooked spinach, uh -huh. baby spinach, a bag of spinach. Mm -hmm. 10 ounces, sauteed onions for sweetness. That's about half an onion. Mm -hmm. And a couple of eggs. Here, why don't you mix that up? OK. Just wallop it all together? Yes. OK. I think my spinach is sticking in clumps here. I got to get it out around. It up? <laughs> yeah. Here, I'll yeah. help you out there. Thank you. Once I've opened up the phyllo dough, I'm going to cut it in three long sections okay. all the way through. I'll score it all the way down. Two of the sections I'm going to keep covered so they won't okay. dry out. All right. These I'll start using. Mm -hmm. So you at essentially once. have strips of phyllo now. Right. Okay. And if they break apart, not to worry. Okay. I'm going to take two strips and just lightly dab them with some melted butter mm -hmm. and connect them like this. Oh. Right? Mm -hmm. Then I'll take my filling, okay. a good uh, heaping teaspoon, not too, too much, otherwise they could burst. Okay. I've had that happen before. <laughs> I don't want that to happen again. <laughs> just like folding a flag. Okay. I'll take it from one corner uh -huh. and start my triangle. I'll bring it forward, now to the right, straight forward again, huh. and I kind of press it down a okay. little, little bit, not too much. Bring it to the left and forward, to the right and forward, and so forth. And even where it was split, mm -hmm. I'm not going to tell because it's going to be covered. Okay. The last little bit, oh. <laughs> you just cut off the edge, and the flavor is just wonderful. My kids even will eat them. Mm -hmm. Anything green, usually kids don't like, but my kids love these, like that. Good. Are you ready to try one? Yes. Good. <laughs> You're doing great. Okay. You've done this before. <laughs> I've tried to do it before. You I don't know if I really did it. Slide it closer to or yourself. If oh you, yeah. yeah. Good for idea. For better leverage. Good idea. Okay. Put it onto the tray, and butter the tops so that the, it doesn't get too brittle. These go into a preheated 350 degree oven. And when they're done, after about a half hour, they look beautifully golden brown and crispy. Would you like to try one? Yes, I would. They're warm. They're so warm. <laughs>
Well, Elaine, thanks for having us at the casements to do this Make It Right for us. Um, and you did make it right. I, I have to say everything that we had was delicious. So. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Oh. We'll do it again sometime, I hope. So much fun. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.